Today I have a rotisserie chicken that was purchased from Sam's. I do have sangria to drink and a dipping sauce. Uh, then I made my cousin say, just make a dipping sauce. I said, okay. I didn't stop by the store and get Hawaiian rolls. So I got Sara Lee wheat bread that I will be eating with this chicken, y'all. But let's go ahead and pray so we can get the eating because we're hungry. Thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive. Let it be a nourishment into my body. Thank you for watching over me. Thank you for leading me and guiding me and unfolding your plan that you have for me, Lord Jesus. I ask that you continue to unfold the plan, continue to lead and guide me. I ask for strength where I'm weak, Lord Jesus. I ask for a peace of mind, Lord Jesus, that I know only you can give me. Lord Jesus, I also pray for my YouTube family as well, Lord. You know what they're going through. I ask that you go intercede and... um. And just be with them and, and prepare them for the blessing or whatever you have in store for them, Lord Jesus. And again, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, growth in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all, I am so hungry and I'm so excited. I just, it's so much I wanted to tell God and I had to remember that I'm doing the video. So, excuse me if I got tongue tied. <laughs> but baby, we got this whole rotisserie and it's still uh, warm. It's still warm. So we're going to see how much of this I can eat. Homies. Look at it falling off the bone. Oh, I love it when you love it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this sauce tastes like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, God. It gave it a nice little kick to it. Honey. Mm. Uh-huh. Dip it off up in that sauce, baby. Mm -hmm. mm. I put some complete in there. You can taste that complete. It's good. Oh, it's good. Until, I hope everybody had a good weekend. What did y'all do this past weekend? Because this is a Sunday, October the 10th. So, that's the weekend I'm talking about. Some of the, the juice, the seasons at the bottom on there. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. It's Sunday. I had to put some food on my stomach before I got to talking. Let's talk about, since it's Sunday, let's talk about um, church people. <laughs> church folk. Y'all, do y'all believe in, let me know in the comments. Do y'all believe in like holding grudges? I know certain signs. I'm a Leo. Well, I know certain zodiac signs. I'm not real familiar with. I can tell y'all about some signs and how they act because I've been around them. <laughs> but I'm not familiar with um with the sign so but anyway
What do y'all think about grudges? Do y'all hold grudges? I don't. I don't hold grudges. I don't know if that's a Leo thing or not, to be honest with you. Look at this skin, though. I'm going to eat this skin, buddy. Mm -hmm. It's good, too. Mm -hmm. But, um, the reason I said that, y'all know some of the worst people that hold grudges? <laughs> Church folk. Baby, something could have been done happen. Um... Either somebody done got into it. Whatever. Everybody needs to know. Ain't nobody perfect. Some church people thinking, oh, they are so perfect. And they have the right to judge. And No, you don't. No, you don't. And you ain't perfect, boo. You might be living a little bit better. You were living it from when you were my age. But <laughs> you ain't perfect, boo. And so I never understood for you to be somebody like, um, you know, oh, I'm so you act acting. Because at that point, you just being fake. Okay. I don't like when they refer to everybody as church folk. Huh? Like I feel in one of the old, old videos, I'm a church folk. So I'm going to refer to them as fake church folk. <laughs> the ones that act like they holier than them. Oh, that one got a lot of good seasonings on it. I would show y'all, but yeah. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. But, honey, um, them fake church folk, y'all, they hold the most grudges. Like, what is the point? To me, sometimes people need to stop and think, what if God would have did that? What if he would have held, um, was holding grudges against us? How would our life be? What would it be like if he didn't forgive us for our sins that we commit on a daily basis? Some sins we do over and over again, and he tell us to stop that, but we, we still do it. <laughs> But what if he didn't forgive us for those sins? What would we be? You know? What if he judged us? Which he is going to hold us accountable, of course, when we get up there to the gate. But while we are here now, what if he judged us while we down here? For, you know, holding it against us. Let me say that. For a sin that we committed two years ago. We're going to ask him to forgive us and everything. But he don't want to. He's going to hold that against us. Where would we be if that happened? Probably the devil would be having a field day with us if that happened. <laughs> but thank you, Jesus. It don't work like that. It's not how it goes. So, why do we hold grudges? We had an incident in church some years ago. And don't y'all know, to this day, it like, why you, I don't understand that. I want to be happy. I don't want to hug grudge, you know, even if... I feel some type of way, whatever. I know how to be cordial. I want to be happy. I don't want to worry about. Do y'all know, like, your unconscious mind would gravitate? If you if you don't constantly have positive things going on or positive thoughts going on, it's going to automatically gravitate toward the negative, right? So, if somebody pissed you while somebody did something to you, you holding this grudge, your mind is automatically gonna think about that. How can that make you all the way happy when you got these negative thoughts about somebody else on your mind? And guess what, though, boo? 
If you sitting up here holding a grudge against somebody, and the person you hold a grudge with, holding that grudge on, they walking around smiling, sleeping. They don't care. <laughs> It's you. You the one that's looking bad. You the one that's looking bad that you holding this grudge and you supposed to be so holy and stuff. And uh -oh. I don't know. Fake. You're just being fake. Because how can you say I love the Lord? But you holding the grudge for some years? Come on now. Everybody mess up, y'all. Anyway, let me know in the comments what do y'all think about grudges and fake church folk. And again, fake church folk, the ones that are holier than now that you normally people refer to as regular church folk, but I'm a church folk and I don't like being referred to as one of them church folk. Because I'm super duper real. I tell you how it is. I keep it pushing. That's just like, y'all know at church they ask for money left and right. My mama, she'd be like, I don't know how you do that. I wish that was me. But boo boo, they come to me, die. Um, we doing this event of Wootsie Woo, and the church is asking that the members pay this amount of money of blase blase. I ain't got it. Well, you know, you don't have to pay, or you don't have to give, donate. The amount that we asking for, you can get whatever the God put on your heart. You can get whatever he God put on your heart. Okay, I got a dollar. Now, I'm gonna say this. God gave us common sense, right? I'm a single parent. At this point in time, I was uh, this conversation that I'm thinking about now where they asked me for some money, and I was like, no. <laughs> but at that time, I was just a single mom of one. Now I'm a single mom of two, and one of my newborn. Boo boo! Don't come asking me for no coinage. I ain't got it. God gave me common sense too. Mm mm. I ain't got it. So I can tell them in a minute. Da, you go do this. The da, you go do no. And I won't think nothing about it. Why it helped me sleep better? I'm not telling you no story. I'm not doing something I don't want to do, honey. Uh uh. <laughs> nah. I'm just being honest with you. But my mama was like, oh, I wish I could be like that. You just tell people how you feel and go on right. I'm getting it out for me. And I'm not going to be like, oh, I should have told him. Or, um, oh, well, this is going on and they need $10 for food. Oh, I'm just going to go on give them the 10 Then I get home and say, who I gave him my last hand? Ooh, what I give him my 10 for? I shouldn't gave him my 10. Oh, I should have did. Oh, why? Did I... Who are happy? Me, but giving them that 10. So when they ask me if I don't have it, if I'm not in a place or position to give, I don't have it. There's some people out there that don't want people to know they broke. Baby, if I'm broke, I'm going to tell you I'm broke. <laughs> I ain't got it. My bills paid, but I ain't got no extra money to spend. I ain't got no extra money to spare. And I'm not finna front like I do, okay? In the long run, y'all do out there, friend. You ain't doing nothing but hurting your hair. No fat. Come on, fat. Well, you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself, huh? All that friend you do. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody got time for that. <clears throat> I already tell you, life is real. What you see is what you get. Especially since I don't grow. I used to be like that one tell somebody was on my mind. One said it because I was scared of how they go feel. What they go think about it. How they go react. All this stuff. Thank God. Do y'all hear me? Thank you, Lord, for growth. Y'all. Thank you, Jesus. I don't do that no more. You ain't finna walk over me. If I feel a certain way, I'm finna speak up and tell you. I don't care if you the church member or not. Okay? <laughs> it don't even matter. If I feel it, I'm going to say it. I have a friend, and she probably watching. What up, mama? <laughs> but she tell me, Dom, 
And you ain't got no filter. You just, you ain't got nothing. Oh, I hate to see you when you get old. Because if you, if your filter like that now, nah, no telling what you going to be coming out your mouth when you get old. <laughs> But that's what I had to grow to be, though. It makes me feel better, though. It makes me happy. And I don't constantly think of stuff that I should have, could have, would have did. Because I did it. I had no point in thinking about the should have, could have, would have. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> if y'all thought I'm going to eat this whole chicken, you don't know me, homie. <laughs> I'm full. Thank you. I ain't even, I'm going to uh, drink that in my foul glass. I pulled out my foul glass. Oh, and power didn't even come on today, y'all. I was tripping. I be watching it, you know, Saturday night, Sunday morning. And I got up and I was like, power, oh, I was going to watch power. It was like, one. It wasn't even on. I said, what in the world? <laughs> so I had to Google it to make sure it just wasn't my stuff that wasn't showing and wasn't working. So I guess it did come on today or whatever. But I sure Googled it, baby. Like, what is episode six? Because Power Book 2 is actually good. And what y'all think, homies? Drop that in the comments. If y'all have been watching Power Book 2 or the Book of Ghosts or whatever it's called. If y'all been watching it and and what tell me what y'all think about. <clears throat> Was the old power better? Or is this better? Like, in my opinion, I feel like um, this new version is better than the last of the of Power. The last shows of Power before it ended. The new show, to me, is better. Oh, Mary J. Blige up in there. Um, the role she playing is a good role. Because I don't really think she know how to act that good, but... That role she playing, she acting the hell out that role. Because I really think that's a piece of her in real life. <laughs> Ooh. Of her past life. Because she played the role. But yeah, I actually like how power was. Like how it started to get kind of like, uh, at the end. The book of power too. Or whatever that world is called. It came back and gave me a little life. To where I'm ready for it to yeah, so sorry y'all, I was interrupted. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I I got to where I'm ready for the next episode of Power to come on. All right, homies. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with this left. I'm gonna be eating on it all day. I about finished half of it. Oh, it's still a wing down off up in there though. Some more little bricks left, but I got hold of that side and it left. I did all right, considering. I did all right. But yeah, so I'll be eating on this all day. What I don't eat today, it will be turned into a chicken salad. To get me through lunch a few days this week. All right, so don't forget if i ain't said it which i think i don't think i did don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you like what you see and turn on that bell for, um, turn on that bell for notifications you know say i said it wrong and now since she told me i said it wrong i can get tongue twisted every time but turn on the bell for notifications so y'all can see when your girl posts a video because why i don't even know when i'm post video even though i'm doing vlogtober so be expecting a video to drop every day at about 6 30 I homies, we trying to reach the thousand homies. Can we get a thousand homies, please? We just want a thousand. Well, really, we want more than that. But can we get to the thousand? Can we get to the thousand homies? Help your girl out. Help us get to the thousands, homie. Okay. And then we're gonna do a giveaway. Y'all say do it for five hundred, which I might do one for five hundred. Five hundred get you a little five dollar gift card or something. And then when we hit a thousand, we feel up it. You know what I'm talking about? Give a little giveaway, something, something. All right, y'all. <laughs> share the share the content. If you could share the content, the last video I posted was only about three minutes and some change long. That's an awesome video to share. Share it to your Facebook, okay? It's an awesome video to share and tell them to come. Come, come. We need some more homies. We want some more homies. We got room. We got room, okay? <laughs> All right, homies. So. 
Positive thinking brings positive vibes, which returns to positive outcomes. Whatever dreams, goals, plans you have out there, make sure you do what it uh, takes to reach those dreams, goals, and plans. And if you're stressing, homie, what's stressing for? <laughs> ain't no point. What is stressing for? All you got to do is turn it over to God. And ain't no problem. Too big for him to solve. I hope everybody have a blessed day, whatever day it is. Have a blessed week. Be productive. Get up and do one thing you said you've been wanting to do for the past month. You ain't did it yet. Do me a favor. Get up and do that one thing. If you know what it is, drop it in the comments so I can stay on your home and make sure you get that one thing done before the month of October is out. Stop that procrastination. We go, ah, we go cast away that demon of procrastination. All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Have an awesome, awesome day. I love all of y'all. Okay all the new homies the old homies my a1s my day ones love y'all y'all be blessed until next time bye bye